Hey there guys, and welcome back to another renovation. This time I wanted to do like a young adult studio apartment, fresh out of college, just starting work. And I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do with the theme for like the floor and the wallpaper. Because I knew I wanted her to kind of just have like a collection of stuff that didn't really match. Even though it kind of all turned out blue and green in the end. Um, but that was kind of the plan was to not really have anything match. And usually you move into an apartment anyway, and it's painted and the floors are one way. So I was having trouble figuring out where the bathroom would go. I kind of put it in this corner and it does move later on because I didn't really want to, I mean, I do use, um, the move objects to for some things in this, but I like um, putting like the appliances, showers, everything like that, um, in the build without that, I just kind of use it for like the decorations and this kind of like breaker box or whatever was in the way. So I didn't really want to do that. <laughs> um, so I do change the location of it and it kind of changed the build up a little. But right now I was trying to find like a divider because I wanted the bed to be kind of private but like have some kind of divider in the build. And I was like, oh, I could use bookcases and it just, th there weren't any good bookcases for this. And so for a while I was using these slats and then I was trying to find the perfect couch and um, I just could not find it. I changed it multiple times. And this is not the couch we stick with, but I absolutely loved it anyway. So then uh, we kind of picked these counters that are just kind of bland as kind of like, um, kind of like how I said, like the apartment's already built and you wouldn't have like this fancy colored um counters if you didn't build the place you know um and so I did kind of put the bar there for a little bit and then I took it away not the bar the island I don't know what I'm trying to say half the time and I popped in a trash can and I was like okay now it's time for the living area and I just I still could not figure out the couch I was like oh what about this what about that what about that and just Nothing was working, but I did really like these poofs. I um, I do change the colors of them later on because I end up with a really funky rug, and they just kind of clashed with the rug. And as much as I wanted this to be a crazy build, uh, you couldn't really see them because there was so much going on. And I was just kind of trying to make sure everything would fit. Um, like I'm putting in the desk and the computer. And just kind of making sure that there's enough room everything, even with this small of a build. So I absolutely love this little, it's um, a cookbook rack or something. And I used it as an end table for a while. And later on it moves because I didn't want to get rid of it because it was so funky and I just loved it. But... It wasn't working in the bedroom, and I kind of wanted to use the bureau almost like an end table, but even that changes, so. I feel like everything I did in the first five minutes besides the counters changes, so you're, uh, it's all gonna change. Like, even the wallpaper changes, and this is where I figured out the bathroom was not gonna work. I was like, oh man, I don't really want to change it at this point, but I kind of just moved everything around and went for it. I kind of liked this bathroom setup a little better. It kind of split up the room a little more. I wasn't really going for the split in the room, but as soon as I got it there, I was like, oh yeah, this, this works a lot better. And I was trying to figure out how to divide the bed away from everything. And I got this idea for the bureau and the bookshelf to be kind of the divider into the living space. And I really like this, like, ladder bookshelf. It's 
absolutely something I would probably use myself. So I was like, oh yeah, this is definitely going to be the fake. I hadn't done it before because I had wanted a bigger bookcase, but it just worked better this way. And so then I, I wanted a different color for the walls. I felt like it was too bland. And I was like, oh, this like teal color, it works really well because it's not bright and it's not like, I don't really know the right word for it. Like it was like, it's not a mellow color, but like it was bright enough, but mellow enough for what I wanted it. And that's kind of why I went with it. It ended up working way too perfectly with the build. <laughs> So it almost looks like she planned her stuff around this color. And then the rugs. Oh my god. I absolutely love all the funky rugs. And for whatever reason, I could not make them work in this funky build. I was getting so frustrated. I was just like... Why can I not use all these amazing rugs? Like, this is the build to pop them in because it's just a funky build. And so I tried a bunch of different things. And I absolutely love the turtle. That was adorable. I didn't, I have never seen that before. I don't know why. I, I, this game surprises me, like, every day. Honestly. I think I know something... And then something pops up and I'm like, huh, this isn't here? And one of these builds, I think it might have been this one. I found the block of wood. And I was like, what? A, a block of wood? So this game absolutely surprises me all the time. I mean, I haven't even gotten all the packs yet, so maybe I should kind of figure out what's in the ones that I have before I get every other one because, man, there's so much to this game. And then I kind of like these dining chairs because they looked kind of old-fashioned, like something you might get from, like, your grandparents' attic or something. And I loved how they just kind of fit because everything else was kind of very more, like, I don't know, contemporary or modern. I don't really know what I'm trying to say. Like, most of the stuff is kind of in right now. Like, we have that sleek yellow chair, the sleek desk, like, even the poofs are things you see, like, nowadays. And then these chairs were just kind of, like, gave this little, like, old look. And right there was, once again, the weird, like, glitch where when I try and move objects up, it shoots me across the building. And I'm still working on trying to figure out why. So until then, I can't really decorate how I want to because I don't really want to deal with being shot halfway across Timbuktu at this point. So now I'm just kind of trying to fill in the spaces. I really wanted something right in this corner, but like I didn't know what. So I was trying to figure out, like, do I want a shelf? Do I want, like, a cabinet? What do I want in this corner? And it was kind of frustrating me for a while because I kept going back to the aquarium, but I've had aquariums in both previous renovations. I was like, okay, now, like, my thing is going to become aquariums. I mean, I like fish. Don't get me wrong. I really want fish again. But it cannot be the main design piece in every build. Which, I mean, kind of sucks. And then I was trying to put in some more funky lighting, like older lighting. And give me some funky lighting, like, around the room. And at first I kind of wanted that floor lamp there. And it just, I don't know, it wasn't working for me, so I got rid of it. And then I added some more things to this desk. Because I was thinking college student, I put open that notebook. I absolutely love that as a decoration. I mean, I'm sitting here with a journal, like a hundred index cards, all with a bunch of different writing, um, an old packet of writing, 
because I love writing and I love journals and stuff. So it's just, it's a, it's kind of like the one piece of me I can put in every build. Because as much as like these builds are from me, like the pink one I did at the Hackham House, I'm not a pink fan. So that one was like really hard to kind of get my head around because like it's just not me. And I always want to put me in these builds. This one is a lot more me. <laughs> so I added another, like, little shelf there. And I absolutely love the stack of books on the suitcase. I thought it was perfect for this build because it was kind of just a clutter. And then I added, like, the arts and crafts thing because, like, she doesn't really have... She's not really, like... I don't really know how to explain it. Like, she's more creative and funky than anything, obviously. Like, look at this build. But, I mean, I would live something somewhere, like, as funky as this myself. So, <laughs> I was just kind of trying to figure out what else I could do. Like, what else I could add for some decorations. I ended up wanting a lot of plants and a lot of bases in this build. I added that little uh, fish bowl, and I added a fish, but like the fish disappeared. It says there's one there, <laughs> but you can never see it. Um, so I don't know what happened there. <laughs> but anyway, so I was trying to go for some like funky colored pots and stuff. So I was searching like different types of colors just to kind of get like a different not like, I don't know really what I'm trying to say. To get, like, the different, like, pots and stuff. The colors would be different and kind of funky. And then this is when I started adding all kinds of vases. Like, I don't understand the point of them in this build. But I just absolutely love them. I love just popping, like, little funky things in this one. And... Then I had the worst trouble with the walls, actually. I didn't really know what to put on anything. I wasn't too thrilled with the living room wall. I put, like, three pictures up that I felt kind of represented this sim. But, like, it just wasn't right. And I wanted this, like, slat to put, like, a picture over it. And I just could not get it to work. I probably could if I could use, like, the up and down or whatever. But we've all seen how that works right now. So I was not fighting with that. I was having enough trouble figuring out what to put on the walls. So we're getting to about the time of the screenshots. I don't have any of the bathroom because it was just really too small and hard to fit in. But the rest of the screenshots are there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.